Uh, in this video, we'll continue the uh, uh, subject of a long division of polynomials, which we started uh, in part one of this series. Uh, so in part one, we introduced the uh, method and uh, worked through the first example. Uh, in this video, we're going to continue with the second example here. So in part one, we said uh, the two things that we need to be uh, careful of uh, as we do long division is first we need to express the dividend as a polynomial or dividing in descending powers of x then we need to ensure that all powers of x are represented so um, let's have a go in uh, at part b it's so got x to the power 4 plus 3x squared minus x minus 9 so x to the power 4 3x squared minus x minus 9. Then this is divided by x minus 1. Um, x minus 1. Yeah. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to uh, write the x minus 1 outside uh, this uh, apparatus here. Then uh, this uh, dividend, uh, the polynomial is of degree 4. Uh, that's the highest power, so we're going to start with x to the power 4. But then we notice that x to the power 3 is missing. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a placeholder here, 0x to the power 3. So that's what we're talking about by uh, saying make sure that all the powers um, are represented. Then after that, of course, uh, we've got uh, 3x squared. Uh, so that's power 2, this is power 1, and this is power 0. Uh, and then, as usual, what we're going to do is we're going to divide the uh, leading order terms. So the first thing we're going to uh, do here is we're going to ask the question, what is x to the power 4, which is uh, this term here. Which is the leading uh, order term, leading term of the polynomial divided by the leading term there. So, and that's going to give us x cubed. So, we're going to write that uh, right on top here x cubed. Then, we're going to multiply x cubed times x. It's going to give us x to the power 4. Then, we're going to say x cubed times minus 1. We're going to write this one under the x cubed term. And then after that, we are going to subtract. So this one minus uh, x to the power 4 minus x to the power 4 is 0. 0 x cubed minus x cubed. 0 x cubed minus negative x cubed. It's going to give us positive x cubed. Then we're going to bring down... 3x squared so this one down here and then the leading order term is now x cubed so we're going to say x cubed divided by x which gives us x squared so that x squared we are going to write here so plus x squared and then after that, we're going to multiply this x squared into the divisor. Um, so x squared times x is going to give us x cubed. Uh, x squared times negative 1 is going to give us minus x squared. So then when we subtract this x cubed minus x cubed, it's going to work out to 0. Then 3x squared minus negative x squared is going to give us 4x squared. Then we bring down minus x squared. Sorry, minus x. So then the leading order term is now 4x squared. So if we say 4x squared over x, that gives us 4x so um, we're going to have uh, plus 4x here then we multiply 4x into the divisor so the first term is going to give us 4x squared 
second term is going to give us 4x. Subtracting, these will subtract to 0. Minus x minus 4x squared is going to give us 3x. Then we bring down a negative 9. I'm going to bring down negative 9 here. Then we divide x into 3x. That is going to give us 3. So plus 3 here. Um, then 3 times x. So we're going to do uh, 3 times x. So that's going to give us 3x. 3 times minus 1. And when you subtract, this is going to give us negative 6. Now, uh, notice that uh, the uh, degree of this is now less than the degree of the divisor, which means this is now going to be our remainder. So that is our remainder there. And uh, what we have here is our quotient so the division is complete okay so we're not going to go to number c uh, in uh, number part c we have um x squared minus 2x cubed plus x to the power 4 so i've got x squared minus 2x cubed plus x to the power 4 um, plus 5 divided by x squared minus 3 okay and so again um, so what we're going to do we uh, first thing we notice here that the divisor is uh, a quadratic so x squared minus 3 but uh, that does not change anything in terms of our procedure then the highest power or the highest degree term here is this one so i'm going to start with uh, x to the power 4 then we have got x to the power 3 and we've got x to the power 2 we have got no 0 we've got no x to the power 1 so we're going to put a placeholder there and then after that we have got uh, plus 5 so that's what we're gonna have um, so in this time um, if we divide the leading order term uh, which is uh, x to the power 4 by x squared we're going to get x squared so that means this is going to give us x squared here then we multiply x squared into the divisor x squared times x squared is going to be x to the power 4 and then x squared times negative 3 it's going to be negative 3x squared so we write that one under the x squared term and then subtract um, if you like here we have got plus 0x cubed uh, and then we subtract as usual um, so this minus this is going to give us 0 this minus this Gonna give us minus 2x cubed and then x squared minus negative 3x squared it's gonna give us 4x squared and then we bring down 0x then now we're going to divide um, we're going to divide uh, x squared into negative 2x cubed so negative 2x cubed over x squared that's going to give us negative 2x so we've got negative 2x here then negative 2x times x squared 
going to be negative 2x cubed negative 2x times negative 3 it's going to be plus 6x and then again we could put plus 0x squared here um, and then uh, we are going to subtract so when we do subtract this is going to work out to 0 this is going to work out to 4x squared and these terms will work out to minus 6x then bring down plus 5 so then we're going to have to divide x squared into 4x squared so that one is just going to give us plus 4 and then 4 times x squared is 4x squared 4 times negative 3 is negative 12 uh, then we do the subtraction um, these terms will work out to 0 6x minus 0 so negative 6x minus 0 is negative 6x this one is going to work out to plus 17 the degree of this one is less than the degree of the divisor now so that means the division is complete so we can conclude that uh, this one is our remainder uh, and uh, this one is our quotient all right so that is the method of uh, long division uh, right now, I'm going to give you uh, the opportunity to have a go at uh, uh, the last two uh, examples here, D and E. So, yeah, you uh, recommend that you pause the video and uh, work through them. And then when you continue the video, you can compare with our solutions. All right, um, we're now going to scroll down to our solutions for... Uh, part uh, D and part E um, by the way we hope that these videos are useful to you I would like to hear from you um, if you've got uh, any quim comments uh, questions you can put them in the comment section and uh, of course uh, please do uh, not forget to subscribe to our channel okay so in part uh, D uh, we have got uh, um, x cubed minus 4x squared minus 10 divided by x plus 4 so the first thing I want to do is to make sure that uh, 0x uh, we the, the uh, power x to the power 1 is represented here then um, x goes into x cubed x times sorry x squared times then x squared times x is going to give us x cubed. x squared times plus 4 is going to give us 4x squared. Uh, and then when we subtract here, this will uh, give us 0 minus 4x squared minus 4x squared minus 8x squared. We'll bring down 0x. Then x into negative x. 8x squared is going to give us negative 8. Negative 8x times x is going to give us negative 8x squared. Negative 8x times 4 is going to give us negative 32x. Subtracting these two will give us 0. This minus this will give us 32x. We bring down negative 10. Then x into 32x is going to give us plus 32. 32 times x gives us 32x. 32 times 4 gives us 128. Upon subtraction, we get negative 138. This is now degree 0, while the divisor is degree 1, which means this is not going to be our remainder. And uh, uh, this here is our quotient. All right. Then for D, um, if we write the 
uh, dividend in uh, descending powers of x, making sure that every power is represented. This is what we're going to have. Then x squared goes into x to the power of 4 x squared times. x squared times x squared is x to the power of 4. x squared times negative 2 is negative 2 x squared. Then subtracting here, this remains the same. This gives us x squared. We bring down 0x. And x squared into 2x cubed gives us 2x. 2x times x squared is 2x cubed. 2x times minus 2 is going to be minus 4x. Subtracting here is going to give us x squared plus 4x minus plus 8, which we bring down from z. x squared into x squared is 1. And so multiplying this into this is going to give us x squared minus 2. Subtracting here is going to give us 4x plus 10. This is now degree 1, while the divisor is degree 2. So that means this is now our remainder. And uh, this one is our quotient. Alright, thank you.